Okay, and then you can use functions like VLOOKUP because when you export into Excel, it will come with the student metric number. Okay, automatically student uh, metric number will be there. Okay, later I'll show you some of the sample uh, when you uh, export okay, the grade book. Okay, uh, the next useful features of quiz in Elip is customization. Okay, these are a few things that you can customize okay, for a particular quiz. Okay, you can select question from question bank under whether you want to make it auto or manually select. Okay, you can shuffle questions, shuffle your answer so that every student will get a different set of uh, sequence. Okay, sequence of answer and question. Okay, you can set uh, the number of question per page. Okay. Um, and then you can uh, play around with the marks and maximum grade weightage later I will discuss uh, a bit about this okay and then you can set whether it will be auto submission or not okay the number of attempt allowed uh, okay okay this one is straightforward like pre start and end date time the time limit okay feedback and then restrictions okay um, Restriction here, uh, you can put either password or through group mode. Later, I will explain uh, about this as well. Okay. Okay. So this is type of questions that you can use in Elip. Okay. You will have MCQ matching. Okay. Uh, select missing word or fill in the blank. Okay. Drag and drop, true and false. Okay short answer, essay, numerical, and embed media. For numer numerical and embed media, uh, I've never uh, done this uh, type of question. Uh, but from what I read okay, in Moodle punya, uh, forum, uh, this one's quite uh, complicated. Lah, okay? Especially, there's a few, uh, there are settings, for numerical that are very easy but for me it's not very good to use for like university level okay um, if you want them to like calculate in um, in elip using this quiz okay uh, it will be a bit complicated okay but others i think very straightforward now Okay, this one is the major setup steps uh, for quiz. Okay, so the first is you set general instructions. Okay, and then you add question, preview the quiz, and then of course you need to inform your students. Okay, um, before we go to uh, the demonstration parts on how to set up quiz, okay, these are some tips or best best practice. Okay. Uh, First, before you add question into a quiz, for me, better to create category in question bank. Okay. Uh, I will show you how to create this one later. Okay. So you create category. Uh, it can be just a general category, let's say your course name, or you can create several categories and then each category maybe represent uh, one topic in your course. Okay. And then uh, please, uh, Make sure your instruction is written on the quiz uh, description punya, uh, part, okay? And then your instruction must be very clear and must clearly state the deadline and time limit, okay? Because some uh, lecturers sometimes they just create quiz and then without no uh, instruction at all, okay? And then next, okay, uh, you must not much lah okay it's better for you to set your maximum grade okay this one i show you later where actually this maximum grade okay uh as same as your quiz contribution to the total marks of the course let's say that particular quiz you want to create in elite will contribute five percent so that's mean in maximum grade you uh set five Okay, so that when you export later, you can just 
uh, you don't need to convert okay anything just export into uh, my mark okay and then uh, please preview your quiz okay before you uh, inform your student okay to check any potential technical issue or maybe the answer is wrong or what okay oh, sorry okay um, next please consider students internet connectivity as well okay let's say um, you want to do a say question for me it's better for you to use assignment function instead of quiz okay because when you do quiz there are time limit if you set the time limit okay so um, let's say suddenly the internet connection okay the student uh, the connection is lost okay but the timing will uh, continue okay so it's unfair for students uh, especially those maybe in a remote area so instead you use assignment so assignment you only set the deadline so you can uh, give the assignment any time you want and then set the deadline okay and then your estimated time also uh, if possible not too long okay but not too short as well okay let's say you have you want to do mcq okay 10 questions for example uh, so 10 minutes for me is good enough okay jangan buat let's say three minutes for 10 questions ataupun you bagi satu hari for mcq 10 questions okay so not too short and not too long okay and then please allow grace period to submit answer there's some uh, there's a setting there okay uh, to choose to allow grace period okay why because if for example the uh, internet connection is lost okay um, if you set auto then for example uh, you have 10 questions the student only answered uh, question number one number two and then suddenly the internet connection loss okay so if you select setting there auto submit okay once the uh, connection is lost then elite will automatically submit question number one and two okay so the student will get zero for the rest eight questions so if okay you allow grace period so at least they can try to um, re, uh, reconnect the internet and then submit and continue. Uh, I, I don't think they can continue, but they at least, uh, I'm not very sure. Maybe uh, there's one setting you cannot continue. Another one setting I think uh, they can uh, retake or continue answering. Okay. And then please allow re-attempt. Okay. So you can set uh to allow attempt maybe up to two three or even no limit okay and let's say you don't want to do that okay uh, maybe you can uh, set another set of quiz okay but only for those who maybe uh, have valid problem internet problem and then you uh, for that particular students okay you set another quiz with password so only uh, those students with password can uh, join that uh, set b quiz okay okay so i will show some demo on these four things okay the first one is question bank okay and then how to set up quiz uh, the next one uh, how to edit your quiz and then um, how to export okay marks okay uh, using gradebook in uh, elite okay. Okay. Uh, share screen with me ah tidak nak buka screen yang elite ah yes Okay, boleh nampak kan? Okay 
Okay, so okay, Saya masuk saya punya Course okay. So, if let's say you guys are using Your own laptop at office and then you have desktop So, you boleh buka desktop uh, uh, Elip on your desktop Okay uh, Okay so first, yeah. first you need to turn editing on here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. At your okay left hand side here. Okay, you will see question bank here. Okay. So you click categories. Okay. So you can have uh categories. Okay. So like. For my course, okay, I teach management science. I just have one categories, okay? Management science question bank, okay? This one is default. This one actually I import, okay? This question bank, okay? From last year's, uh, last year's, huh? my page last year's, okay? Okay, so if you want to add category, okay? So parent category here, you can put top, okay, or you can have like subcategories as well, okay. Let's say you put test here, okay. This one, okay, just simple. And then if you want to add some description, also can, no problem. Okay, so you will have, okay, new category, okay. So if you want to put, let's say you have one general category here, management science. And then now you want to do uh, subcategories, okay? So parent category, you choose your uh, the general one, okay? Here, let's say topic one, okay? Okay, so under the general or your question bank, management sign question bank, let's say in this example, so you have question bank on topic one, okay? So you can add, okay, as many as, Categories you want, okay. okay this one, okay. So that is uh, how to add categories. Okay, next is uh, to import. Okay, so I don't have uh, that um, file. Okay, uh, in my laptop here. Okay, so this uh, the file format. So make sure Elip only um, support this type of format. Okay. So when you have um, the software from publisher, the question bank software from publisher, make sure when you want to export okay, the question from that question bank, make sure it is exported in either of these few format or type of file. Okay. Because kalau macam uh, word, yang ni missing word lah, bukan word uh, DOX lah. Okay. Um, so, if other than this format, okay, uh, ellipse cannot read. Okay. So, if ellipse cannot read, meaning you need to manually key in your question. So, if you select this format, then it will be automatically um, be in your uh, elite okay question back okay so you can just let's say uh, let's say after you export the file just import here choose a file and then select and then just click import then it will appear in your um, question bank here okay um, you also can export export here if let's say you want to export your um, existing question in this question bank into some other format then you can use as well okay this one is to export nah. okay so that is question bank for me uh yang tu yang paling penting okay um in terms of question okay you don't need to add your question you in this question bank manually actually okay you can also add question in your quiz straight away okay but if you want to add here also uh, 
not a problem. Okay. Okay. So let's say let's to pick here. Okay, let's say uh, I want to use question bank. Uh, I want to add question in uh, question bank punya functions. Okay, so you select category, then just create new question. Okay, so this is type of questions that you can use. Okay, so normally I will use multiple choice, true, false, matching, short answer. Okay, uh, drag and drop. Mm, yeah, drag and drop sometimes, but normally I will just use this four. Okay. Okay, so uh, later I show you this one okay because this one and adding question in the quiz itself is the same huh? okay the process okay so uh, okay so okay i think i just create one lah. Okay, okay let's say true and false just for sample huh? okay here category okay even though just now you already choose your category here you can change again okay maybe you don't want to be in topic one you want to be in the general question bank also okay okay question name um here question name uh is only for your reference okay not for students student won't see this question name so for me okay put uh like a very general and then give numbers and then type of question as well for example let's say this one is true and false question normally i will put true and false okay this one topic one let's say topic one is intro intro question one for example okay so this is where you um put your question text okay for example uh so Okay. okay, default mark. Okay, one is okay, and then correct ends. Uh, okay, okay, correct answer true or false. Okay, so this one is true, so you set true. Okay, okay, this one is feedback. Okay, you can put some feedback. Okay, let's say they answer true, then okay, you can put like good job. Okay okay false if uh, the student answer false okay of course they will get wrong answer so you can give a feedback okay maybe some descriptions about the uh, answer okay let's say this one Then self change. Okay, so you have okay. So question name will appear here. True, false, intro, question one. So that's why don't put your question name is too general or uh, too long. You put your the uh, question text here. Okay, so question names. Make sure you put what type of question so that you know. Okay, this question is a true false question about the introductions okay and then that is question number one so when you want to choose later okay um in your quiz you know okay uh this is true false question this is uh, uh asking about intro or which part of uh, that topic okay okay next um i will show you how to create a uh, quiz Okay, so that is question. Uh, sorry, question back. 
okay, how to create categories, how to import and export your question bank as well as how to add your question in your question bank. Okay, uh, to create a quiz, so you must uh, you must go to the front page of your course. Okay. Okay, so here, make sure here is turn editing. Ah. You must turn on your editing first. Okay, and then add an activity or resource. Okay, select quiz. Okay, so this is your the name of the quiz. Okay, so normally I just put online quiz. Okay, and normally I would put the mark as well. So that when students see this in the elite page, they know that this quiz will contribute some marks to their uh, total mark for that course. Okay. Okay, and then uh, you can put descriptions here. Okay. Uh, for example, okay. Uh, And then uh, okay. for example, uh, okay. So you can have a bit more specific instruction here. Okay? And then uh, you also can display description on course page. Okay? Let's say if you click here, okay, later we we'll, uh, okay, let's go okay, first, huh? just to show you uh, what will happen if you click that one. So if you click that one, so your description will appear here. Okay. So if you unclick, okay then it won't appear uh, there on top of your elite page okay next is timing okay okay so when you want to open the quiz okay if you want to be a uh, very specific then you need to enable and then choose time and uh, date and time okay and then close the quiz okay the last date they can uh, answer the quiz and then time limit okay so if you enable time limit okay so you can choose as biasanya tak adalah weeks okay normally i will just about maybe at most maybe uh, 30 minutes okay okay so if you enable this okay okay when time expire okay this is where uh okay this one uh, open attempts are uh, submit submitted automatically if you choose this okay so if students okay uh, they lost the internet connections okay so like i said previously so if they only able to answer two then two lah yang lain tu tak boleh buat okay so it's because uh, when uh, the connection is lost it's their attempt will be closed automatically and then submitted automatically. Okay. So uh, for me, uh, don't don't set this one. Lah. Okay. Okay. We must consider our students' uh, internet connectivity as well. Okay. Uh, you can choose either this. Okay. There is grace period when open attempt can be submitted, but no more question answered. Okay. Or this one, okay, attempt must be submitted before time expire or they are not counted, okay. Okay, and then let's say you click here, then you can enable this one, uh, submission grace period, 
maybe let's say um, few hours kalau panjang sangat you think maybe grace period is about uh, another 30 minutes okay minutes okay or maybe 10 okay okay for grid this is how you uh, set okay how you want to do the grid okay for me i will just i don't put grid to pass here i just ignore these two okay um okay but okay you can let's say you want to allow your students okay to answer two or three attempts for the same quiz then you can choose here or maybe unlimited okay then if let's say you allow let's say for example uh, um unlimited uh, okay so grading method here okay you need to choose either from let's say because you uh, set unlimited attempt okay maybe some of the student answer three times okay so what kind of grading method you want to choose the highest from those three or you want to take the average from those three or you only count the last attempt or maybe the first attempt okay so if you choose one here okay uh, you cannot change anything here okay next is layout okay layout here uh, normally i won't touch anything because later you can uh, uh, do this again okay at edit quiz okay this one is setup huh? uh, the initial setup okay question behavior also you uh, yeah shuffle within question okay so if you want to shuffle then you can choose yes or no uh, yes if you don't want then you choose no okay this one is uh, the feedback okay uh, you can read here okay okay what type of feedback okay you want to uh, give to student whether uh, each uh, for each question so once they answer one question and submit one question and then you reveal what is the answer and then the feedback or maybe wait after they answer all question okay so you can choose uh, with these uh, options okay uh, okay review options okay these are some uh, advanced setting uh, for me okay uh, normally i don't i won't bother with this one okay appearance okay no okay this is where if you want to set password okay you can extra restrictions on attempt okay because sometimes okay some other student not enrolling in to your class okay join your elite page so you don't want them to take the quiz for example so you put password okay and then you only reveal the password in uh, to your student in your class okay online class or whatever what's app okay um, and then uh, another one the restriction you also can make okay uh, not here sorry uh, this one common module settings okay um, this one is for example uh, uh, like me i'm teaching this management science uh, course okay i have three class three group of students okay so one group of students is around 60 to 70 students so i have about 210 students okay so let's say okay you want to make a quiz but um, different groups have different sets of questions for example okay so you can set here okay so for example you choose okay, visible this one you need to choose show group mode here you can change to separate or visible okay what does it mean by separate and visible you can click here okay if you choose no group meanings every three groups okay because uh all three all my three classes okay share the same edit page okay so all three groups okay uh all student if no groups then all student can okay 
click into that quiz okay but if you choose for example separate okay separate groups only certain group can see uh, that quiz okay for example okay i choose separate groups so for grouping but this one you need to have grouping in your elite page first okay if not there's uh, no point okay so you must have grouping in your elite page first so like me i already create okay so i have class on monday 11 to 2 monday 11 uh, 8 to 11 and then tuesday 2 to 5 so if i set separate groups and then i put monday 11 to 2 okay only those enrolling into my class on monday 11 to 2 can view this quiz okay other group uh, cannot view this quiz okay um invisible okay for visible uh, here group mode ada dua uh, other than no group tadi separate and visible okay if separate they only can view their own uh, quiz okay that is set to their particular groups but if visible okay visible here okay if you read here the description if visible okay they can see but they cannot join okay for me it's better for you to just set separate groups okay so they only see there's one quiz okay they will know that that actually is only for them okay so there's two way to set restrictions either you can choose separate groups here ataupun you can choose um password so let's say if you have whatsapp group okay for all three class okay for example then maybe it's better for you to just use password so you give different password to different uh, whatsapp group okay or you can set here as well but here uh, the prob not the problem lah you must do something extra before you set here in separate group which is you need to set the grouping in elite okay for me i already set lah this one you need to set manually or you can set using uh, group selection okay uh, okay so that is the okay here i put no group first okay. okay so save and return to course okay okay so this one ah. okay the one that i create is this one okay so you still can change your uh, name here okay let's say online quiz Okay. okay so if you haven't add any question into the quiz okay okay so you can just click okay at the link here okay and then click edit quiz okay or you can go you click here online activity study online quiz okay yeah. sorry you click okay online quiz here and then you uh, edit quiz if you happen to you already add some question or you already preview your quiz this button will be hidden edit quiz so um, how to edit your quiz okay is you click here at your sidebar here okay but for the first time this button will appear here okay so you click edit quiz here okay this is where i said the maximum grade just now okay let's say this online quiz will contribute five percent of your student total marks so here maximum grade put five percent uh, sorry five okay okay save okay make sure it's the same so that when you want to export the grade book is easier for you you don't need to um, shuffle uh, sorry to convert okay 
So then, okay, how to add the question? You can add from here. Okay. Okay, you can add new question. Okay. So the step is similar. Okay, let's say now we choose multiple choice. Okay. So, okay, again, okay, you can add your question, okay, into, let's say, um, I put here lah, test one. Okay, in the question bank categories test one. Okay, question name, again, this one MCQ, let's say MCQ, uh, intro, okay, let's say question one. Okay. So here question text, okay, uh, unless not clear, so I just put X, 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 okay, okay, default mark, uh, this one is 1%, okay, never mind, okay, uh, okay, for MCQ, okay, so you can have a multiple answer or one answer only, okay, so let's say your question is like choose, um, what uh, the correct descriptions about certain theories so maybe in your selections of answer maybe there are two descriptions that is correct so you will take multiple answer allowed okay if only one then you put one answer only okay so if you put multiple answer allowed for example okay please in your question okay put like answer all uh okay ataupun uh what answer all that applies okay okay something like that okay at least student know that they can choose more than one okay shuffle the choice if you want to shuffle a b c to maybe different students will get different uh sequence of answer okay the options okay if you know you untick this one meaning all students will get the same sequence of a b c later okay answer you put here okay let's say this one a a okay great here yeah. okay let's say this one is multiple answer allowed okay and then you have for example huh, you have four answer okay four choice okay choice one choice two choice three and choice four okay and then the right answer is choice one and choice two so okay you can put okay create here is because of you have two correct answer so you can put 50 percent okay so choice two, let's say B, 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 you grade is another 50%. Okay, this one, C, 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 we create, uh, none lah, okay. Dia tak ada zero lah, kalau none tu maksud dia, uh, meaning the answer is wrong. Okay, and then this one, B, 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 none. So meaning, if your uh, student, okay, this one you said, okay, answer all that applies okay but they only choose choice one or a a a here okay from one mark okay default mark here one from one mark they will only get 50 percent which is 0 0.5 so if they answer okay uh, two they select these two okay which is the correct answer they will get one mark lah, 50%, 50%. So if your multiple choice, uh, sorry, multiple answer though, okay, the correct answer is two, so you need to set 50, 50, okay? If you have three, then, okay, 33.33, all of them, this one, okay? So, and then you can maybe uh, adjust, let's say, um, some answer macam, uh, boleh diterima pakai. It's not uh, straightforward correct. Okay, so maybe you nak bagi uh, this one seventy, this one thirty pun boleh. Okay, so up to you. As long as the total is hundred lah. Okay. 
see I set this one 50, 50. Uh, 50. This one 50, 50. Okay, uh, this one normally I just uh, ignore this one. So you can, okay, let's say uh, multiple tries, okay. Uh, you can also have penalty for each incorrect try. Okay, this one normally I, I I won't bother to change this one. Okay. Okay, then save change and continue editing. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, save change. Okay. So you will get this, huh? Okay. Okay. Okay, that is if you want to add your question manually. If you want to choose from question bank. Okay, so choose from question bank. Okay, so let's say select category. This one I only have one. Okay, or let's say I have this one 26 question. Okay. Uh, then, okay. Uh, okay. So you just choose, okay, whatever question, for example, I want to choose this one. Okay. And then select the question to the quiz. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it will automatically add here. Okay, and then you also can add randomly from question bank. Okay, so random question from existing category. Okay. Okay, this is how you, well, let's see, just do it. Okay. Okay, ah, yang ni random question. So, kita tak tahu lah. So, it just... So different student will get different question. Okay, but make sure all those question, uh, um, their difficulty level is the same lah. If not, it's not fair for those students who get a more difficult question. Okay. And then, okay, you, okay, let's say this is the question. Okay. So this is, uh, okay, page one here. Okay. So you can uh, repaginate your uh, quiz, okay? Meaning, okay, for example, okay. So you don't want to have five question in one page, okay? Maybe you only want have one question per page, okay? Then you just click here, okay? Okay. So what it means by that is, okay, let's go to review. Uh, review. Uh, okay, preview here. Okay, go here on your sidebar preview. Okay. Okay. So this is page one. Okay. So if you choose let's say five uh, question in one page it will appear five question here okay so now let's go back okay okay here for example uh, since you already edit your question everything so if you click again here okay ah uh, dah tak ada yang button edit quiz there is no edit quiz button here okay so if you want to edit your quiz again go here at the, your sidebar here and then click edit quiz okay so you can repaginate if you want let's say uh, two maybe if you want okay okay and then let's see how it uh, change if you okay see two page in uh, two question in one page. Okay, so you can like ah uh, okay for example ah uh, this question okay okay is let's say you want to try ah uh, whether your setting is correct or not. Okay, answer all that applies. So 
if I answer only A, for example, what happened is okay, this one. Eh? I'm just gonna go submit page. Okay. Okay. See, I will only get zero point five here. So meaning, okay, because the correct answer is you need to choose A and B just now. Okay. So meaning my setting is correct lah. Okay, so you please use preview to check those kind of setting if you have lah. Okay. Um, another thing is I want to show you is okay here. Okay, let's say I have here I have um nine question. Okay, nine question, but the total mark is maximum grade okay but this quiz only contribute to five percent okay so this one total mark is nine okay meaning okay if your student okay i tambah satu lagi lah bagi sepuluh senang sikit kira okay let's see one question again let's see i choose this one Okay, so now I have 10 questions. So let's say you have 10 questions. Okay. So total mark here meaning, okay, um, for this question, okay, uh, for this quiz, the total, uh, I use points as now so that you won't get confused. Okay, the total point, if they get correct all question here, is 10. So it will convert into 5% will convert to maximum grade okay so if the student get five out of ten okay meanings maximum grade he will he or she will get is 2.5 lah so kalau dia betul semua dia dapat five okay elite will automatically uh, calculate that that's why i said make sure this one maximum grade is okay the same as your uh, contribution, this quiz contribution to the total mark for that course. Okay. And then, okay, let's say, okay, you have 10 questions, but you think, okay, for example, this question number two is difficult. Okay. And then you want to have some extra marks on this. You can edit, no problem. You just click here. Let's say you want to have this one is a bit difficult, so two. Okay, two and then click enter. Okay, it will come to so here total mark become eleven. Okay, that's mean okay if the student okay get uh six out of eleven here uh, six out of eleven mark uh, nanti dia akan Calculate sendiri lah, out of 5 ni, the student will get maybe around 2.6 something or 2.7 something. Okay, so make sure this one is the same. Okay, this one, you don't bother uh, much about this one. Okay, so this one, but if you want to have different, uh, slightly more marks for certain question, you can uh, edit here. Okay, if you think that all question is same level or will contribute uh, around the same points okay to this total marks here then just uh, don't do anything lah. just make it everything this one okay so that is about quiz how you want to edit and then your preview everything okay preview tadi you tekan sini ya preview okay okay you can start with uh, you can do this preview uh, um, multiple times okay until you are confident that there's no uh, issues with your settings okay next is about um, okay after the student answer okay because I haven't done any online quiz yet this semester so I cannot show you here saya ada yang ni tapi belum buka lagi sebenarnya this one okay so there's no one uh, answering this online quiz yet okay 
So I show you um, maybe other previous semester. Hopefully they are still there. Okay, let's say this one, online quiz three. Um, okay, so this is my descriptions of that online quiz. Okay. This one, uh, them. Okay, check them. Okay. So, okay, for this quiz, okay, this one is uh, semester one, okay, which means in 2009, uh, okay, and of 2009, okay. So, these are the uh, result, uh, the result from uh, my students. So, that quiz, particular quiz is only 5%, okay. So, if you want to see how many questions I'm not... To remember how many questions is set. Yeah. Okay, so I set 10 questions. So you think of sini total mark 10. Tapi maximum grade is 5. Okay, because this quiz only contribute 5%. So make sure this one 5. So when you go to the result, okay, this, for example, dia dapat yang ni markah dia. Okay, 3.5833. Okay. Kenapa dia boleh dapat sampai macam tu? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, review temp. Uh, boleh tengok dia punya attempt. Okay. Sebab, okay. Uh, for example, this one. Okay. So, dia partially correct only. Okay. So, dia hanya dapat 0 0.5 out of 1. So, lepas tu adalah yang lain-lain juga. Ha. Okay. Contoh. Uh, okay. This one ada tiga. Okay. Yang correct. So, partially correct. So, dia dapatlah 0 0.6667. So, that's why the uh, mark they get. Okay. Uh, sampai 3.5833 macam tu. Okay. So, this one is automatically calculated by edit. Okay, so you don't need to convert anything as long as you make sure that maximum grade is the same. Okay, now, so let's say you want to export this grade into Excel. So, where to go? Okay, where to go? Okay, this one if you want to see, uh, okay, they punya some uh, information. Uh. Okay, how many, okay, ada yang full, ada yang tak dapat. Okay. Um, okay, go to, um, okay, this one is the page, this one, great book setup. Okay, so you go to great book setup there. Okay. And then, click export. Okay, so what kind of, let's say I want to only export the marks for online quiz 3 just now. Okay, so I deselect all this. Okay, so I just online quiz 3. Okay, okay. sorry, you need to change here, huh? Excel spreadsheet first. Huh? Okay. Okay, you click export and then Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so let's say you want to export online quiz marks only. Okay, so this one, uh, no need feedback. Okay, so you can choose the option here and then you click download. Okay, so I've downloaded this, uh, this, uh, Okay, let's see. Oh, sorry, dia tak keluar. Okay, uh, ya ini sebab dia sem yang lepas punya dia tak keluar sebab okay, uh, dia tak keluar sebab if you check participant here dia dah hilang. Sorry ya. Eh. Uh, tapi saya dah download yang last year punya. From last year. Uh, yang ni lah. Sebenarnya. Ok. 
chip okey dia akan keluar macam ni okey okey with the name of student metric number emails everything emails that they use to register with philips and then the marks okey so using this excel you can just use vlookup okay and then okay look up for the metric number in your my mark punya excel uh, template then it will automatically um, read this uh, mark so you don't need to do manually okay okay so that's how you uh, export okay export student marks online assessment mark okay in elip okay and then uh, to your uh, my mark okay you can use vlookup okay okay saya tak ada contoh kat sini uh, in my desktop yes i have some uh, yang saya dah buat formula how to get this mark everything okay but i think you can explore on your own how to use vlookup and then get uh, that particular template to read marks from this okay worksheet okay i think that's all okay um and uh wait i think i have uh, okay okay so this is a uh, guideline if you go to elip okay uh, there's a lot of guideline actually in elip uh, at the front page, front page meaning uh, here, okay, when you log in, everything, okay, down here, okay, so you will have, uh, this one is very general guideline for FEB, I think uh, Dr. Mahani already shared this guideline in uh, our WhatsApp group, okay, but if you want a big details guideline, tips, manuals, how to do quiz, assignment and etc. Uh, click here, looking for ideas here. Okay, there's a lot of guidelines there. Okay, and then they add uh, some new guidelines and tips uh, so that you can prepare for uh, for this time lah. COVID day especially, uh, they just add few weeks ago I think. Okay, here, I think that's all from me. Uh, thank you. Ada question? Okay, kejap mana saya baru nak buka chat. Randomize question will select. Uh, yes, ada tanya randomize question but you need to add your question in your um, question bank first. Okay. Dalam quiz kita dah clear, dalam appear hanya soalan random dia. Huh? So make sure when so that's mean you need to uh, set your question in uh, your question bank tu categories tu you set categories uh, is quiz one okay and then you have let's say 10 question in that particular question bank and then in your edit quiz you just choose five okay tak nampak excel okay sekarang nampak Nampak, nampak. Ha, okay. So, nampak, kalau nampak. Okay. So, kalau uh, kita export yang grade tadi Okay. Dia akan keluar macam ni. Excel file tu macam ni. Okay. So, you dah ada dah. Metric numbers and then yang paling penting metric numbers lah. Metric number, uh, name of students and then dia marks. So, you can just use VLOOKUP Okay, and then look up their metric numbers lah. And then the, the Excel will automatically read this uh, marks and then uh, into your what apa, marks punya, my marks punya template. Okay, kat mana nak set grade 5%? Okay, nak grade 5% tadi is, okay, I share again lah. Okay, ada orang tanya. Okay, nak share grade tu dekat edit quiz. Okay, kejap saya pergi balik ya. Eh. Okay. 
you go this one and then edit quiz here. Okay, edit quiz here, maximum grade. Make sure this one is the same as this one, 5%. Let's say this quiz is contribute, will contribute 5%. You edit here, 5. Okay. So if that particular quiz or let's say you want to do exam, also boleh juga buat exam using this uh, functions. Okay, that exam contribute let's say 20%. Then here you put 20% lah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Ada lagi chat. Okay, wait lah. Saya buka satu satu lah. Uh, Bu, okay. Uh, question from Madam Esmi. Okay, if we do random quiz, can we select two pools of question difficult and easy? Five difficult, five easy. Boleh. Boleh buat but in question bank tu you kena ada dua categories. One categories for difficult question, one categories for easy question. So you later dalam edit quiz here, dekat sini kan, okay, choose from question bank ni. Contoh, you select kategori tu adalah kategori easy question, another one uh, difficult question. Okay. So dia akan so, jadi satu quiz lah. Satu yes, dia akan, yes, satu quiz. Cuma dia akan pilih uh, soalan tu random dari question bank tu saja. So, oh. make, let's say for example this one kan. Uh -huh. okay. uh, sorry, random. Sorry, salah. Uh, random question. Okay, this one. Let's say yang ini, let's say lah topic one ni easy, test one ni yang uh, difficult. So you choose this one, random question. Uh, you choose let's say dalam ni, dalam let's say lah sekarang ni ada satu saja kan contoh saya. So let's say dalam tu dah ada 10 question tapi you nak pilih 5 saja dari yang susah tu kan. So you choose 5 here. Then it will add 5 question from that particular uh, easy punya question bank. Boleh. So, so kalau kita uh, uh, apa tu shuffle, uh, let's say kita ada 50 student. Uh -huh. So they will have different different difficult question kan? Ah uh, yeah. Dia dia akan select randomly lah five. Oh okay okay. Alright thanks. Ah uh, so kalau you nak buat macam tu, ah uh, so you need to prepare categories dekat question bank tu ikut dia punya difficulty lah. Boleh hmm. no okay. problem. Zai. Thanks. Yes. Nah, Sorry Zai, just nak nak confirm ah. I, I think last time saya pernah cuba pakai yang random question tu. Ha. Katakan saya letak ambil 10 kan. Hmm. Actually dia akan fix random dia just ambil random daripada contoh yang 100 ambil 10. But hmm. then the same question they will post it to every student. Oh, ya ke? Ha. Oh, dia cuma that. random, random dekat test bank. Mm -hmm. Yang random tu saja dia bawa ke student interface Yang mm -hmm. tu akan kekal Dia tak akan pergi balik ke question bank Okay Boleh confirm balik aku Sebab saya pernah buat And then mm -hmm. tanya student they, they got the same question The only way saya shuffle jawapan je lah Okay kejap hmm, Aku tak silap dia sama Dia cuma random dekat question bank Tetapi bila dah appear dekat student mm -hmm. Sistem dia tak boleh refer kepada question bank Untuk tarik randomly Um, bantu kita random possibility hmm. um, contoh kan dalam your question bank tu ada 10 question lepas tu you choose 10 juga ha, kalau macam tu memang dia tak boleh random lah sebab you pun pilih 5 dalam question bank tu pun ada 5 saja contoh tak hari tu saya ada 10 saya ambil semua ambil ha? 100 contoh 100 kan saya pilih ha? 10 and then tanya student ha? uh, dia orang dapat soalan yang macam mana uh, ha? sama tak So, so check ya. Dia kata sama. And then saya tanya dekat Kam uh, macam mana sistem dia. Dia kata macam tu lah. Dia tak boleh refer balik bila saya klik sebagai student mm -hmm. dia akan ambil soalan yang berlainan. Dia, dia tak ambil macam tu. Tapi boleh confirm balik lah. Mungkin dia orang dah upgrade ke uh, apa. Okay. Kalau let's say lah. Kalau jadi macam tu another way untuk buat bagi random sebab random ni sebenarnya senang je kan nak set untuk untuk buat quiz. So you dah ada test bank, you buat quiz tu okay, quiz tu banyak banyak quiz, faham tak? Hmm. 
ha, banyak kuis tapi kalau macam tu mungkin kena macam kena select lah okay, student ni boleh jawab kuis yang mana satu bagi password ke oh. macam tu sajalah kalau memang betul yang dia tak select ni sebab saya tak pernah tanya so- soalan student apa uh, tanya balik lah kan student soalan macam mana dia orang dapat kan hmm. ha. kalau okay, tak boleh buat ha okey okey thank you dah okey thank you thank you okey ada question lain uh, rasanya regarding that jai hmm? uh, for the question just now questions and answers what i did is usually walaupun i only have like macam 10 soalan Hmm. All right. Uh, the question itself random. Hmm. All right. One thing, number one, the question itself are random. Uh, the answers are put. random as well. And ha. the third one, you put time frame for each question. So student dia tak ada masa nak, you know, uh, ha. 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 compare the answer. Sebab satu, soalan random uh, in order. Number two, answer random. The third one is the time frame. So that's how I play with it lah to uh, yeah. overcome the questions uh, by Dr. Afendi just now. Ha, uh, yeah. Yang tu sebab dia banyak boleh kita boleh customize macam-macam. So boleh buat macam tu juga nak bagi student susah nak tiru lah. Kan? Yeah, yeah. Uh, And it works lah. So far uh, from me. Okay. Okay, any ada mungkin sharing ke siapa yang ada share yang macam Dr. Afendi tadi, Zaza pun boleh. Kalau tak nak tanya soalan nak share something your experience. Oh, Kak Ida tambah sikit okay. ha. uh, Apa tu kita boleh shuffle juga question Maksudnya kita ada banyak lagi lah Apart from you shuffle Lepas tu the last kali tu dekat ya, study hmm. yang question tu ada, ada shuffle, reshuffle question, shuffle question Maksudnya ha, shuffle banyak, question ya, ada banyak lagi maksudnya um, steps yang kita boleh nak avoid student meniru lah macam tu ha, Yes uh, boleh okay. Alright Okay, yeah, so you agree, boleh agree. shuffle shuffle question, you boleh shuffle uh, answer juga. Yeah, I mean, I mean shuffle is there, but uh, but it's good lah if like, like Dr. Pandy, if we can find out. I mean, if we say mm-hmm. if we have let's say hundred or fifty in the question bank, at least they're random, they're macam ada variety tau. Nah. So that will be even better. Kalau rapat lah, maybe we can check. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Another think. thing, uh, Ujai, I, I, yeah. ni, ni, I, I, I had problem with um, that day dengan um, uh, apa tu dengan self group self selection. Okay. I I have two assignment, but I don't want the group to be the same for assignment and assignment one and assignment two. But when the student select for assignment one. Mm-hmm. They automatically also become member of assignment two. So I was trying to sort it out. I tanya Zurina, come, I tak paham. <laughs> uh, uh, can can you repeat again? No, I have I have dua assignment. Okay. And two then okay. A group assignment. Tapi mm-hmm. I don't want the group to be the same. Assignment one different group. Assignment two different group. Oh okay. Uh, okay, so okay okay okay. I ask them to do self selection. So apabila mm-hmm. dia orang self select for question uh, assignment one, mm-hmm. they automatically become the same group again into assignment two. Oh, okay, okay, faham. Uh, okay, uh, if that's the case, you kena buat grouping. <laughs> oh, grouping. Mm-hmm. Yes, you kena buat grouping. You ada group, so you ada satu grouping, grouping untuk assignment one. Another grouping is grouping for assignment two. So ada, akan ada banyak lah. Kata dalam yeah. kelas tu, dalam kelas tu ada katalah 20, 50 orang. So kalau pair dua-dua-dua maksudnya akan ada 25 untuk group, uh, grouping untuk A, uh, assignment one. Ada 25 grouping untuk uh, assignment two. Yeah. Uh. Tentu kan? Macam saya punya group sekarang sebab saya tak buat macam tu lah Sebab contoh let's say uh, my group Okay Ini saya tunjuk je lah eh Overview Okay saya punya grouping yang ini grouping lah nama dia Monday 11 to 2 ni So dalam kelas Monday 11 to 2 ni Okay pergi yang dekat group uh, Okay 
group ni okey lah ataupun saya masuk di depan lah okey sini pergi users here and then groups okey yang ni saya dah student dah dah buat dah lah so saya dah ada grouping dia tapi untuk saya punya grouping sekarang saya buat Monday 11 to 2 uh, ikut kelas so kalau macam Madam Esmi tadi so dalam kelas ni dia ada pula group 1, group 2, group 3 semua lah so kalau macam Madam Esmi tu dia kena buat uh, grouping based on assignment this one called assignment 1 dia ada group lain lepas tu grouping ni assignment 2 group lain sebab one student dia boleh masuk 2-3 group sebenarnya Oh, okay. I am yeah. referring more to the self self selection Ujai. Yang yang if you look at uh, I saw it on your that one just now, self selection. Yeah. So bila you buat grouping self selection tu, <coughs> okay. Uh, wait ah, saya buka kat sini. So when you do self selection tu, okay, let's say ah, yang ini ah, uh, nak tidak saya tukar. Okay, um, okay, let's say this one ah. Let's say this one is for group one lah. Apa uh, sorry assignment one. Okay, so you can ah uh, sorry. Dekat setting here, edit here, edit setting here. Uh -huh. Okay. Edit setting. Uh, okay. Dekat sini, you kena to tukar, I think. Oh. Mungkin. Uh -huh. You kena main-main sikit kat sini lah. Yang ni try and error lah. Saya pun banyak try and error je. Tapi kena yeah. macam Dr. Fendi tu lah. Kena tanya soalan lah yang macam random question tu saya tak tanya pun. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, I, yeah. Right. so I, thought, I thought dia memang random lah. Okay. okay. So right. kalau macam you try to memang nak explore you try uh, change dia tengok macam mana apa yang student nampak okey thanks ha. okey so dekat self selection ni you boleh main-main dekat sini lah okey biasanya saya rasa kat sini letak group mode ni no group ya yeah. so yes yeah. ha, boleh boleh, boleh. Yeah. ada apa nama ni platform yang external punya platform yang hmm? yang lebih menarik juga tak yang yang boleh integrate dengan ellipse ni Contohnya hmm. macam saya pernah dengar yang uh, apa nama satu apps ni hmm. uh, ah Padlet kan? Ah Padlet, okay. Uh, siapa cakap itu? Tuan Haji Syaril ke apa? Uh, dia kata hmm. boleh diintegrate dengan Elip. Padlet dia uh, saya pakai juga Padlet. Tapi untuk kalau macam reflection boleh, saya rasa reflection boleh. Reflection ataupun kita nak suruh student submit something using Padlet pun boleh. Oh. So, ha? Ha, uh, boleh Kak Dita tambah sikit Jai? Um, ha, okay. Uh, dalam Padlet kita boleh masukkan, mungkin Ujai boleh show macam mana nak masukkan Padlet uh, tapi dalam um, guide sheet yang Kak Yung dah buat tu untuk Padlet tu ada uh, tunjuk juga macam step by step macam mana nak masukkan Padlet dalam oh, ada. Uh, ada. Uh, masukkan Padlet dalam elip, memang ada step by step guide Memang Kak Yong memang uh, banyak guna Padlet lah untuk my class Untuk brainstorming, untuk submission, untuk uh, discussion macam tu uh, Tanpa dia perlu pergi ke Padlet punya site dalam dalam elip sahaja uh, Mungkin uh, yang tak ada guideline tu mungkin Ujai boleh tunjuk sikit Jai Macam mana Jai? Okay. Ha. Kalau Padlet, saya kena buka khusus yang lama. Sekejap lah. Uh, saya share screen terus. Okay, boleh nampak kan? Nampak. Boleh, okay. boleh nampak. Boleh eh? Nampak. Saya buka MPU. Okay. Contoh lah. Okay. Ah, yang ni. Okay, yang ni padlet lah ni. Okay. So saya, yang macam ni ni saya suruh dia orang discuss dalam kelas. Okay, saya bagi kertas apa, kertas majum ni. Suruh dia orang tulis. And then tangkap gambar, submit. Okay. So submit using padlet. So saya integrate padlet tu dalam elite. Okay. So uh, ada, kenapa kita integrate 
dalam elite tu sebenarnya ada dua lah satu supaya student dia tak perlu masuk uh, padlet punya website okay. dia boleh masuk elite dia boleh nampak terus satu lagi bila kita buat blended learning punya audit nanti kam senang nak tahu ok betul kita buat elite nampak ok so cara nak uh, apa nak buat uh, nak integrate yang ni ni uh, kejap lah uh. Okay, contoh yang ni saya punya uh, apa? yang page tadi ya, page uh, pad, yang padlet tadi tapi dalam dia punya website dia sendiri lah Okay, so uh, sini ada. Ha, dekat sini, okay ada share ni, boleh nampak kan? Okay, share, lepas tu yang ni, embed in your blog or website Okay, lepas tu copy dia yang ni Okay, tekan copy ni, dia dah copy to clipboard Okay Lepas tu saya buat baru lah. Saya buat dekat tempat lain lah. Atas macam tu. Okay. Tekan add activity or resource ni. Pergi dekat label. Okay, klik label. Add. Okay, lepas tu tekan yang ini. HTML. Okay, and then uh, paste. Okay. Then save and return to course. Okay, kalau kita tengok yang ini. Uh, tak banyak saya letak tadi. Ha, yang ni. Okay. Tadi kat bawah kan. Ha. Okay. Sekarang dah ada dua. Dia terus letak dekat sini. Okay. Pakai label. Tapi kena pergi yang ni lah. Kena copy dia punya code ni. Okay. So yang itu sajalah. Dia cara nak embed lah. Okay. Um, tapi pad dia ni. Ha, pad boleh ni. turun bawah sikit tak screen tu. Bawah lagi, okay. bawah lagi sikit. Okay, Kak Ain tambah sikit eh. Atas sikit, atas sikit. Kak Ain nak nampak yang sign plus yang pink tu. Okay. Uh, oh, maksudnya yeah, uh, bila student nak uh, nak uh, submit ataupun uh, join this activity, dia just click, double click dan dia boleh submit terus. Cumanya right. macam kat sini, Ujai letak uh, group nama, uh, group name. Kan, WE01G09. Yeah. Tapi kalau individual, kita uh, kita kena clear instruction, suruh mereka letak nama dan metric number. So, so kita make sure lah diorang memang uh, ada kita boleh identify individual yang buat um, yang submit uh, dia punya task tu. Hmm. Okay. So kalau padlet ni bukan setakat gambar kita nak hmm. suruh hantar word file ke powerpoint pun boleh sebenarnya. Ya. Yeah. Uh, Cuba ujian ujian boleh double click nanti te uh, tengok apa uh. benda yang boleh disubmit. Uh. Uh, uh, ya de dekat dot dot tu. Uh, dekat dot dot tu. Uh, apa benda. Hmm. Upload ni kan. Uh. Upload ni. Ha, so upload lepas tu boleh upload terus uh, Lagi satu hmm. Jai, yang dot dot tu sebelah kanan dia mana tadi hilang lah hilang Kena lah. buat yeah. lagi sekali yang baru <laughs> Okay, dan dot dot kanan tu klik kat situ ah uh -huh. ada banyak benda boleh buat kat situ sebenarnya hmm. ha. So, uh, padlet ni agak menarik lah tu ni hmm. Dan student boleh uh, upload dia punya voice, voice record tapi kalau dalam padlet ni uh, hari tu maksimum 2 minit sahaja kalau macam uh, short uh, answer ke ataupun macam very very short katalah kita nak summarize in 2 minutes uh, topik yang dia belajar hari tu boleh upload dekat uh, dekat padlet juga uh, tapi hmm. sebab uh, 2 minit sahaja maksimum sebab tapi padlet sekarang dah ada limit kan berapa padlet kita boleh buat kan Uh, kalau yang register lambat sikit, uh, memang ada tiga tiga padlet je. Kalau nak premium kena bayar lah. Uh. Tapi sebab Kak Yong subscribe dulu dah lama, lama sangat dah masa. Uh, uh, beli, saya pun uh, sama lah. Uh, tapi ada memang tak ada limit lah. Uh. So kena tahu, uh, I think kalau nak bayar pun tak tak pastilah berapa. Cumanya kalau nak, kalau nak uh, asing tiga kot dia bagi free. Kalau nak tiga tu maksudnya kalau nak banyak aktiviti kat sini yang lain tu delete lah. Kalau delete hilang lah dekat dalam kita punya elite tu saja. Yes, hmm. betul. Ya. Yeah. Okey. Ha, tadi uh, Dr. Fendi. Oi. Tadi saya dah try dah yang pakai random tu. Lepas tu hmm. saya buat review. Tiap-tiap kali saya review mesti soalan lain. Ya yeah, ke? Yeah. Oh. Ha, maksud dia boleh lah tu. Dia bukan Sebab random dia... soalan yang sama dekat ha. review tu. Betul ha. Ha, saya buat, saya tunjuk lah. Ha. Jadi saya try tadi. Review. Uh, keluar review, bila review tu soalan lain-lain. Oh. Uh, sini lah. Ya. Okay. 
Jadi quiz ini ah uh, kejap uh, edit quiz ah uh, saya yang ni kan random saya letak lima soalan mm -hmm. okey saya review preview kat sini contoh ah uh, yang ni okey ah uh, mai letak ajalah kan okey finish attempt Submit. Okay, yang ini nombor satu EOL. Okay, take note lah kan. Takut, takut nak tengok ni kan. EOL, non-critical, state of nature, competitive analysis and break even point. Okay, so finish review. Okay, kalau saya tekan preview lagi sekali. Ah, soalan lain. Oh, Semua okay. lain. Ni lain, yang ni lain, <coughs> yang ni pun lain. So maksud dia memang dia akan random lah. Oh, so okay, mungkin okay, ada okay. setting yang mungkin ada tersalah setting dekat mana-mana lah kot. Mungkin lah. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, Jai. Okay, okay. Okay, kita buka uh, sekarang ni masa sangat mencemburui kita eh. Betul-betul cemburu ni. <laughs> <laughs> Dah 15.43. Rasanya kita kena ada satu sesi lagi ni. Seksi, uh, seksi. Sesi betul-betul uh, praktikal sebab rasanya ramai ha. yang akan buat final exam online kan. Uh, yes. Tak apa. Saya rasa mungkin nanti bila dah start semester mungkin kita boleh buat bila semua orang dah dekat PC masing-masing yes, dia. Yes, kan? betul betul. Ah, uh, yang tu kita akan kita akan kita buat lagi bite size lagi betul-betul bite punya menyengatlah. Okey, uh, ada soalan lagi ke last? Sebab ah uh, Kak Yang akan sentuh sikit je uh, untuk yang um, the second part. Kalau ada soalan kalau tak ada kita second part nah, pun kita chat, buat hari lain. <laughs> chat tu ada uh, soalan juga tu. Boleh share tak if we do short answer? Short answer Uh, short answer tu saya uh, dia betul-betul kena short lah maksud dia uh, soalan jawapan student tu kena exactly sama macam jawapan kita uh, yang tu je dia punya macam kurang sikit lah okay. so kalau contoh kalau kita jawapan kita sentence yang penuh one full sentence jawapan student dalam point form dia tak boleh detect dia bagi salah Okay. Uh, okay, yang tu saja kot. Okay. Yang tu kena try and error lah tengok macam mana. Ha, yang tu kena try and error. Betul. Okay. Hmm. Kak, Kak Yung, Kak Yung memang tak prefer lah soalan yang ha, tak answer. So, Pening kepala kita, nak check. Ha, betul. <laughs> better kalau nak buat macam essay ke yang tu, better pakai assignment je dengan pakai quiz lah. Pakai assignment je. Suruh dia orang upload ataupun boleh dia tulis teks terus dalam apa image tu pun boleh juga. Okey, uh, ada ada lagi one last. Uh, so far tak ada kot. Dalam dalam chat pun dah tak nampak soalan yang lain. Okey, alright. Okey, thank you very much Ujai. Okay. I think um thank you. Okay. Uh, I sangat Sangat banyak benda lah kita belajar hari ni. Tak apa. Lepas ni insyaAllah kalau diperlukan lagi nanti uh, please let me know dan kita akan buat memang session khas yang uh, apa yang memang macam Ujah kata tadi semua orang di depan PC dan kita akan buat dan kita akan kalau ada soalan terus tanya. Okay. Sebab hmm. masa ni kalau uh, kita dah share screen uh, kita tak boleh buat aktiviti lain dekat belakang laptop kita kan. Uh, jadinya sekarang ni uh, Nanti insyaAllah Kak Yang akan share the recording, boleh praktis lepas ni uh, dan boleh rujuk juga ELIP ada step by step guideline macam mana nak buat. So maksudnya kita ada uh, complement a lot of things lah dan still kalau ada question nanti kita akan ada satu session khas. Memang kita memang dah plan nak buat satu session khas sebab as I said just now, uh, ramai yang akan plan untuk buat face to face um, Uh, no, face-to-face -face online asynchronous, okay, asynchronous or synchronous final exam. Okay, so kita akan try to accommodate. Tapi tunggu semester start dulu. Okay, kita raya dulu. Okay, alright. Uh, in my part, okay, uh, <laughs> dua minggu. <laughs> dua minggu lagi. Okay, in my part uh, tak banyak. Cuma ni sebab I rasa ramai dah um, pandai zoom dengan webex. Tak sempat nak cover webex. So, I cover cuma yang practical part je lah. Eh. Okay, macam Zoom ni, I think ramai, uh, I dah buat dia punya so, 
Actually, I dah buat dia punya guideline, one step by step guideline untuk untuk Zoom dah lama dah, uh, 25 Mac. Tapi disebabkan hari tu tiba-tiba uh, kata Zoom ada masalah dengan dengan apa dia punya uh, security, terus I stop. Okay, uh, but then this, uh, rasanya sekarang ni ramai orang dah tahu dah guna Zoom. Okay, cuma nya uh, sekarang ni adalah kalau kita jadi host, kalau uh, partisipan rasanya tak ada masalah sangat kot. Okay, pastinya semua dah expert dah. Cuma kalau jadi uh, host ni, uh, apa yang Kak Yang boleh cakap adalah kita kena ada satu skill multitasking. Multitasking, uh, macam tadi kalau I dengan Ujai, Ujai co-host, I host. Jadinya uh, kalau uh, Ujai tengah deliver, ada orang uh, uh, baru masuk dan Kak Yang boleh uh, authorize dia. Tapi kalau kita bagi lecture, uh, semua kita kena buat sendirilah. Uh, so, student kita kadang-kadang macam tadi uh, ada yang terpaksa keluar, ada yang terpaksa masuk balik. Jadi kita kena sentiasa alert uh, apa yang berlaku dekat screen kita selain daripada kita bagi lecture. Okay, nanti ni Kak Yang akan try siapkan juga. Okay, step by step guideline. Okay, yang paling yang paling mudah dia adalah kalau kita uh, kita download dia ataupun install dekat local 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 kita punya device lah sebab lagi senang lagi nak manage okay uh, i think unimas uh, semalam kak yun try um hari senin ke hari senin kak yun try um, install zoom eh boleh pula webex tak boleh install dekat kita punya laptop eh uh, 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 computer pc okay uh, so this one okay kalau let's say home uh, sebab ni tengah aktif, Kak Yun tak boleh nak tunjuk banyak benda. Kejap eh. Uh, Kak Yun stop sharing yang ni. Kak Yun share, sh uh, screen sharing. Uh, yang ni pun kena, kita kena try practice. Siapa yang belum pernah jadi host. Okay. Lepas ni uh, kalau boleh katalah nak minta tolong uh, cakap uh, dengan kawan-kawan pun atau cakap dengan Kak Yun. Boleh tak you, uh, okay, I nak buat dalam masa half an hour, uh, to, 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 apa, 20 minutes ke 10 minutes I jadi host. Uh, I invite you supaya you boleh uh, rasa perasaan jadi host tu. Okay, sebab uh, lagi ramai orang masuk sebenarnya lagi mencabar. Kalau setakat seorang dua, uh, lepas tu kita kenal kawan-kawan kita tak kisah. Tapi kalau uh, ramai student macam hari tu, uh, kelas macam 15 orang pun uh, bila internet tak stable, dia orang kena keluar. Kadang-kadang macam tadi, I tengah meeting, tiba-tiba uh, internet poor connection. I pula yang terkeluar, orang lain masih lagi on. Okay, jadi kelangkah buat kita nak masuk. So itu kena anticipate lah eh. Okay, lagi satu kalau ber, ber, berhati-hati, kalau kita nak share, kita ada share screen dengan kita share, uh, share apa tu, um, kita punya share window. Okay, I, I harap you nampak yang screen ni eh, nampak screen kah? Ke nampak window? Nampak my screen ke nampak? My... Nampak your screen. Nampak my screen eh? Okay. Yes. Uh, ini kalau kita um, kita install dekat desktop, uh, kita boleh tengok dekat sini dia return to meeting, meeting dengan schedule, join dengan share screen. Sebab I tengah aktif sekarang ni, maksudnya tengah ada session. So join dengan share screen ni dia dah disablekan untuk once bila kita joining in lah. Sebab kalau nak tengok dekat sini, uh, kalau kita masuk, Lagi senang memang guna dekat local, okay. Sebab kalau awal-awal kita masuk, kita akan nampak di screen. Okay, join, share screen dan kita boleh letak uh, schedule semua. Okay, uh, kita boleh schedule our meeting dekat sini. Okay, kita boleh tengok chat. Uh, I tak guna pun function chat ni, okay. Dan kita boleh schedule the meeting. Uh, yang paling penting kalau uh, ada uh, dah schedule the meeting, ya kat sini sangat senang, okay. Sebabnya kalau kita nak uh, schedule the meeting, dia tak dia tak kasih. Okay. Okay, I tunjuklah. Schedule the meeting, let's say kita buat dekat sini. Um, uh, try session one. Ini, that's why I memang encourage everyone, try jadi host. Memang you uh, meet dengan kawan-kawan ke? Okay, okay. Katalah lima orang, five of you. Uh, seorang jadi host and then take turn lah. Sebab um, bila dengan student nanti memang tak ada choice, you have to be the host. Okay, dan ramai saya tahu memang tak pernah ada chance. So, boleh uh, include me in. Okay, kita set masa mana yang sesuai include me in. Nanti I can I can guide you through. Mana yang I tahulah eh, sebab I pun baru lega juga benda ni. 
Okay, so let's say start, uh, kita dah nak schedule the meeting start, let's say Wednesday 20th, dan kita boleh tukar masa. Okay, let's say pukul 5 dekat sini. Uh, dan dekat sini time memang dekat uh, Singapura lah, paling dekat kita tak boleh upah dekat situ. And then meeting ID, uh, dekat sini dia bagi my personal meeting, kita jangan bagi personal meeting ID ni, kita minta dia generate automatically. Sebab kalau kita bagi personal meeting ID ni nanti, um, I pun tak tahu apa consequences dia, tapi that is only for us lah, okay. And then uh, kita minta dia require, require meeting password automatic sebabnya password ni yang protect uh, daripada orang luar yang tak ada maklumat boleh masuk, that is one of security reason eh. Okay, video nak boleh host on ke off ke participant on ke off ke kita boleh set kan. Alright, lepas tu audio kita tengok telefon and computer audio calendar. Okay, yang ni kalau you click upload dia akan terus masuk ke dalam kita punya upload tapi lama sangat nak tunggu. So, I just click uh, other calendars. Okay. And uh, click schedule. Okay, bila I click schedule. Alright, dia dah bagi dah uh, banyak maklumat ni. Okay, kenapa I dapat banyak maklumat ni? Sebab I dah subscribe, I dah bayar. Sebab I terpaksa bayar untuk kelas masters. Uh, pengalaman guna Webex, dia orang tak berapa happy guna Webex so dia orang prefer guna Zoom, kita guna Google Meet pun dia orang tak happy juga because of the quality of the video and then the smoothness lepas tu dia request guna Zoom. Kalau guna Zoom, uh, the first time first time and second time you jadi host dia memang bagi unlimited time. Lepas tu bila third time atau fourth time macam tu dia dah start cut off. 40 minit dia akan terus keluar. Dia, tapi dah bagi warning lah. You ada lagi 10 minit, you ada lagi 5 minit. Kalau you tak, uh, tak lepas tu dia kata kalau nak teruskan you kena you kena subscribe ataupun uh, subscribe lah bayar. Tapi bila kita ignore je uh, dia akan keluar terus. Jadi kalau nak sambung dengan meeting tu kita terpaksa set uh, sampai session 1, session 2, session 3, session 4 agak annoying kalau kita ada kelas. Okay? Jadi I terpaksa subscribe. That's why my invitation ni ada panjang lebar. Maksudnya dia boleh uh, student boleh dial melalui location saja. Tapi yang ni ada location dia dekat US kan. Okay, uh, so kita boleh klik copy clipboard, okay dan macam biasa kalau ada WhatsApp, okay bila klik copy tu uh, clipboard, let's say I nak uh, share semua orang dengan WhatsApp, okay, uh, just masuk je, okay hold on, let's say, alamak, sorry ya dia lambat sikit. Uh, Ceng, ceng, ceng. Ah, tak apa, lain kali. Lambat sangat. Nanti you all boleh copy and paste dekat WhatsApp macam biasa. Tapi sebelum send tu, maybe you all boleh modify dulu lah dia punya content. Okay. Itu yang antara yang I nak share lah kat sini. Lambat sangat. Okay. Uh, alright. Ataupun, okay. Bila kita, tadi kita dah set, tengok dekat meeting. Uh, dah ada dah ni. Dekat meeting tab ni, kita dah ada try session 1. Uh, kita boleh, biasanya kat sini akan color biru atau color hijau, saya tak ingat. Tapi disebabkan saya tengah uh, online dengan dengan this session, so start button ni tak boleh, dia, dia disable kan. Okay, ataupun uh, kita nampak, kita nampak masuk. Rayu. Ha? Tak nampak. Tak nampak. Okay, I stop sharing, I screen sharing sekali lagi. Okay, ini hmm. adalah cabaran sebenar eh. Cabaran sebenar, nanti bila sudah kata tak nampak, jangan gabra, kita relax, kita share screen dan kita klik yang uh, share screen, bukan yang window. Okay, nampak tak ni? Nampak hmm. sekarang? Nampak activity attendance. Nampak activity attendance? Oh, hmm. okay. Alright, dia tak bagi pula dah. Okay, don't worry. Stop sharing. Jangan panik. <laughs> okay, nanti I minimisekan ni. Tengok apa yang kita nampak. Um, this one is the real thing happen lah. Uh, so, jangan panik je tu je. So, I share screen kat sini. Uh, okay. Screenshot. Okay. Masih lagi nampak aktiviti attendant eh? Hmm. I tak tahu kenapa sebab I dah minimiskan dia, I dah, dia still masih stuck lagi. Okay, tak apa. Kita 
kembali ke kita stop sharing. Okay. Alright. No problem. <laughs> so antara, antara sebab ini memang cabaran ya, eh. memang memang berlaku real life. Cuma nya kalau dalam lecture nanti kita uh, sebab yang ni kita nak nak tunjukkan uh, the real things what happen on the screen tapi dalam lecture nanti kalau boleh you dah siap-siapkan kalau uh, Microsoft PowerPoint tu you dah siap-siap buka yang masa tu nak cari apa semua nanti akan meng, uh, kita akan jadi gabra akan jadi uh, susah hati okey jadi kalau macam Microsoft PowerPoint kita buka siap-siap okey sebab kalau dalam screen ni uh, nak sharing screen nak tunjuk activity what's going on memang kadang-kadang dia lagging Uh, dan kadang-kadang dia akan jadi macam tadilah, so don't worry. Lagi satu, uh, I nak share something eh. Uh, I share juga screen ya. Eh. Uh, mana tadi? Okay. Yang ni adalah, okay, apa yang uh, antara perkara-perkara yang kita boleh uh, alami, okay, sebagai host. Okay, sebagai host, uh, nanti kita tengah bercakap dan ada chat dan kita kena uh, um, kita kena alert lah dengan soalan-soalan yang ada dekat chat tu. Uh, nampak tak my PowerPoint slide? Ada eh? Nampak eh? Ada, ada, ada. Uh, okay, alright. Uh, so kadang-kadang dia selalunya ada dekat tepi sebelah kanan. Okay, tapi tiba-tiba uh, dia hilang. Don't worry, dekat bawah uh, kita punya um, kita punya zoom tu uh, kita boleh klik chat dekat situ dan dia akan keluar. Kadang-kadang dia tak keluar sebelah kanan, dia keluar sebelah kiri. Jadi uh, berhati-hati, uh, jangan panik lah. Okay, jangan panik. Kita cari je kat mana dia tu ada, dia, dia tak hilang. Okay, dan lagi satu contohnya kat sini. Okay, uh, tengah-tengah cakap apa semua tiba-tiba ada one person is one person is waiting. Hari ni uh, ini yang kita buat masa sembang santai FYP tu eh, ada dalam dekat 200 student. So tengah cakap uh, memang ada one person is waiting, two person is waiting. Jadi kita kena tengok sebab student biasanya um, dia, walaupun kita kata kelas pukul 9, even dalam face to face physical class pun kelas pukul 9 masih ada lagi yang 9 setengah datang kan. Unless you jenis tutup uh, lepas pukul 9 tak boleh masuk. Uh, itu different story lah for me. Better late than never. Okay. So uh, kita klik, uh, kena klik dekat sini lah uh, admit. Okay. So sambil-sambil bagi lecture ada orang nak masuk uh, kena klik admit. Lepas tu ada juga yang tanya dekat situ. Okay. Itu uh, antara cabaran-cabaran host yang that's why uh, kita kena ambil peluang masa sebelum start kelas ni untuk familiarize diri kita dengan uh, jadi host. Maksudnya uh, lecture lah. Okay. Um, ni adalah antara uh, phase. Uh, ini lagi. Masa tu tiba-tiba pula ada participant dekat sini lepas tu kita nak share uh, screen dekat sini uh, kita dekat sini pula uh, chat dekat sini ada gambar uh, participant jadi kita punya screen tak bersih sangat eh dia messy sebab especially tiba-tiba kalau dia kita klik satu-satu yang dekat bawah ni uh, participant kita nak tengok siapa participant kita nak tengok uh, apa dia punya chat okay so Um, tapi jangan jangan worry lah cuma you 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 have to control yourself what's going jangan panik okey jangan panik cuma kadang-kadang dia tak dia tak cantik susunan dia ha, dia ada kedap kat sana lah kedap kat sini lah dia tak hilang dia ada okey lepas tu satu lagi uh, i try to share screen tengok apa yang akan berlaku stop share kat sini i try to share screen bismillah ha Okey, nampak nampak apa kat sini? Nampak ha, activity attendance. Nampak activity attendance je tak nampak benda lain. Ha, nampak dah benda lain tukar-tukar. Ha, dah nampak dah eh? Nampak tukar-tukar. Ha. ha tu dia macam tu lah kita kena try 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 banyak-banyak kali. Okey, let's say uh, kalau kita tak berapa familiar awal-awal, okey. Uh, activity attendance ni kita buat siap-siap lah supaya bila student masuk uh, dah boleh ambil attendance. Ah, macam you all dah boleh ambil attendance lah sekarang ni. Tapi kalau katalah kita belum uh, belum buat dan kita terlupa tiba-tiba teringat, okay. Don't worry, kita pergi je dekat Microsoft, uh, dekat, dekat uh, kita punya uh, browser. 
Okay, kita boleh buat QR attendance ataupun nak pergi ELIP, kita pergi ELIP. Ha, tapi biasanya kalau baru-baru tu kita siap-siap masuk ELIP. Jangan tiba-tiba nak masuk macam ni. Ha, dia akan jadi kelang kabut nanti. Okay, kita sign in macam biasa. Kita dah boleh masuk ELIP. Okay, ha, masa ni kalau kita nak cari file ke apa ke boleh. Jangan, don't worry. Tak, ha, dia akan kelang kabut sikit lah. Okay, tapi... Uh, from time to time, you akan you akan selesa. Okay, and then dekat sini dia ada show grid. Okay, kadang macam ni kadang-kadang uh, kak nak tengok sebelah kanan, kita boleh move ke kanan. Yang ni uh, boleh move ke kiri. Nampak tak kak yang move ni? Uh, participant punya senarai. Nampak tak? Ke you nampak nah, elip je? Elip je. You nampak elip je? Uh, okay. Hmm. Maksudnya dia, maksudnya kat sini, actually masa you all tengok elip ni, kak yang um, Kak yang menggerak-gerakkan senarai partisipan ni. Okay. Uh, maksudnya uh, host je lah yang nampak. Okay. I pun also learn a new thing today. Alright. So macam um, contoh eh, Padlet. Kita nak bagi tahu student tadi kita nak buat uh, sebagai host biasalah teaching and learning. Kita nak suruh student buat activity macam uh, Kak yang pun buat banyak Padlet juga. I don't know. I'm a fan of Padlet. Okay. Uh, this one. Master 2. Okay. Uh, okay, ni contoh, contoh uh, <coughs> orang punya platform of uh, planning kan. Planning platform ni contoh orang submit uh, Excel file. Maksudnya kita orang, <coughs> Kak Yon nak orang buat uh, dalam Excel file tu kita dah bagi siap-siap. Uh, Kak Yon nak orang letakkan uh, dalam satu satu minggu tu apa orang punya campaign planning untuk orang punya produk. Okay. Maksudnya sebab ini marketing memang kena ada lah. Jadi maksudnya dia nak tengok uh, what is the the things uh, February sampai March. So Kak Yang minta dia orang upload dan dia orang upload. So ikut, yang ni by grouping. Okay. Uh, yang ni baiklah lah. Nanti kita sebelum kita... Sekejap eh. Masa kita terangkan dekat dia orang. Okay. Uh, apart from the lecture, kita boleh tunjuk dekat uh, ELIP section ni. Kita boleh explain dekat dia orang what we expect them to do in uh, in kita punya pilot yang yang disediakan lah. Okay. Dan uh, itu asynchronous. Kalau uh, synchronous, okay. Um, kalau kita ada sediakan what we call uh, a guide sheet ataupun uh, task. Kita explain dekat situ one by one task, apa yang perlu dibuat. Okay. Contohnya, uh, sebab tak semua student ataupun lecturer pun kadang-kadang ada yang tak berapa faham sangat dengan uh, dengan apa tu, what we call Padlet. Okay. Uh, contoh task yang Kak Yun sediakan adalah uh, macam mana nak ajak student buat benda tu sebab kadang-kadang kita tak cukup masa ke kan. Kita boleh upload uh, differently ataupun kita embed dalam kita punya lecture notes. Uh, contoh yang Kak Yum buat adalah Okay Sekejap eh Ini kelas uh, Last weekend Kak Yum buat kelas Okay Alright The learning unit 12 Okay Alright Okay Alright, ini in class activities, learning unit uh, learning unit 12. Uh, so, yang ni kita explain kat dia lah kenapa uh, kita buat this exercise online. Ya, kalau dalam kelas kita buat, uh, memang kita buat sama ada discussion ataupun kita buat uh, secara dalam dalam padlet juga. Okay. Jadinya kita bagi tahu dekat, man, dekat mana nak dapatkan padlet tu. Okay. Uh, apa task dia, bila deadline dia dan kita explain dekat sini sebab kita dah sediakan dalam kita pun punya platform, kita explain dekat dia, okay, you can see this uh, this in Padlet, okay, uh, in in uh, this Padlet uh, in Elip, meeting berapa, uh, click the uh, this button and this one will appear dan kita expect kat dia apa yang dia, apa yang kita nak uh, mereka tulis dekat sini lah. So at least uh, kita ada a proper guide what to expect, okay, yang tu sebab kadang-kadang student Uh, bila kita buat synchronous meeting, katalah uh, semua student dekat kucing dan dia dapat internet access. Bila kita explain ES dalam kelas ES, dia boleh dapat maklumat tu. Tapi what about student yang um, yang kemudian, yang tak dapat uh, nak uh, 
apa uh, join kita punya kelas so if they uh, tak dapat join kita punya kelas semasa uh, synchronize ya yeah, uh, session jadi bila kita letak yang ni embed dan ni dalam kita punya lecture note dan at least dia orang boleh um, tahulah what to do okay um, alright i think um, itu saja sebab masa sangat mencemburi kita dah lebih berpukul 4 ada ramai nak balik nak masak kan alright Uh, oh, time set tu ada time zone KL. Okay, tak apa. Uh, Pagi Kak Yun tak berapa ni sangat. Terima kasih Ivan sebab Kak Yun cari hari tu tak jumpa. Uh, tapi mungkin um, KL dengan Singapore sebab Kak Yun tak boleh sangat, dia lebih kurang sama. So, Kak Yun, that's why Kak Yun tak kisah Singapore. Alright, uh, boleh try OBS. Uh, OBS tu uh, apa ya, Shubaili? OBS tu conference, um, video conference juga uh, sekarang ni kah? Masa Baili? Aman? Okay, uh, Kak Im pun tak pernah dengar OBS ni. Mungkin OBS adalah salah satu virtual virtual meeting. Oh, software scope for screen capture. Alright. Okay, screen capture Kak Im guna, Kak Im guna uh, snipping tools. Okay. Eh screen capture itu snipping tu kita nak cut 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 kan. Okay nanti Kak Yun try tengok. Terima kasih uh, sharing. Okay. Oh Ivan baru jumpa hari ni. Okay lah. Terima kasih sharing. <laughs> okay sebab uh, benda ni interesting sebab kita pun um, baru lagi um, ya, menceburi bidang-bidang uh, apa uh, video conferencing ni kan. Lepas tu uh, ada streaming for all platform. Okay ada banyak streaming um, platform sebenarnya. Kak Yang dah, yang paling Kak Yang comfortable adalah Skype. Tapi Skype ni um, dia dia macam ni lah. Semua video conferencing yang Kak Yang nampak dia adalah macam macam rumah tau. Rumah ni katalah semua semi-D. Semua semi-D double story. Andaikan lah eh. Tapi bila kita tengok kat Desimo lah contohnya. Bila kita nampak dari luar semua nampak dari luar pun dah lain kan. Lain chart. Walaupun masa jual tu, kita dapat daripada developer semua yang sama. Tapi bila kita dah duduk dalam tu, dia dah kita masuk dalam rumah tu, okay, uh, dia punya fang, bilik air ada, okay, bilik air ada, ruang tamu ada. Tapi bila kita dah start masukkan perabot, dia dah jadi lain. Rumah sebelah-sebelah katalah saya berjiran dengan Jane, uh, sebelah lagi Farah. Tapi masa mula-mula nampak dapat daripada developer kosong kan. Lepas tu bila kita dah start masuk, kita dah chat, kita dah letak perabot. Lepas tu ada yang pecahkan, letak toilet yang sebelah kanan, letak sebelah kiri. Dia jadi macam tu je lah. Tapi basically it's almost the same. Okay, kalau once you dah comfortable dengan Zoom, Webex pun insya Allah lebih kurang sama cuma Uh, furniture banyak lagi ke tak banyak lagi ke ataupun dia punya function dia banyak TV dia canggih lagi ke tak ke uh, itu itu yang kena itu yang kita kena belajar dalam 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 dia lah tapi secara umumnya once you know how to host with zoom insyaallah dengan benda-benda lain kacang je okey sebab uh, kak Yus sebelum ni dah biasa dengan Skype macam zoom ni mula-mula dia macam dia punya layout a bit different tapi once I dah belajar Zoom, uh, Google Meet dengan uh, Google Meet, I immediately belajar sebab student kata boleh tak kita transfer ke Google Meet sebab uh, tak kita tak selesa dengan dengan Webex. Terus masa tu juga buat Google Meet, eh senang je. Okay, senang je. Taklah susah sangat sebenarnya. Cuma ni Google Meet ni dia dia kena ada akaun Google dan kena ada uh, set calendar dekat Google Calendar tu je. Tapi bila once kita dah masuk dalam Google Meet, dia lebih kurang. Cuma kita kena tahulah kat mana nak share screen, kat mana button record. Uh, jadi kita kena familiarkan tu sajalah. Dan um, I think kalau guna guna Webex pun not bad juga. Cuma kadang-kadang ni kita ada, kadang-kadang uh, kita kena pandai control student lah. Student kita ramai ada yang suka Webex, ada yang suka uh, Google Meet, ada yang suka Zoom. It's not about apa yang student suka. Macam tadi Kak Yung uh, tukar daripada Webex ke ke Zoom sebab masa tu I don't know maybe something have, ada masalah kot dengan dengan Webex ke dengan memang student all the student student tak ramai masa tu 15 orang dan student masters pula tu cakap bercakap kan kita lupa nak on kan kita punya video jangan panik kita onkanlah kita punya video nanti student pun macam mana mana muka lecturer ni okey 
Ah, ah, lepas tu dia dia kalau macam hang ke apa kadang-kadang uh, kita, that's why kita kena familiarizekan diri webex ke zoom ke kadang-kadang uh, kadang-kadang bukan apps tu kadang-kadang kita punya internet internet kita tak stable dan kita akan kick out daripada sistem uh, so cuma kalau kita banyak jadi host mula-mula tu memang nervous uh, tapi jangan susah hati okey uh, nervous tu perkara biasa tapi once sudah pandai dah uh, you will you will love it. Nah, nanti hari-hari pula nak meeting guna guna video conference ni kan. So, kena anticipate when you need it worry. It's not about uh, we have to familiarize uh, the new things, the new norms. Jangan susah hati. Um, just be cool dan uh, try to practice. Ya, yeah, as I said, try to practice. Kalau ada masalah, uh, just get help from from people, from your friends. Okay? Yeah, Zoom so far so good. Not really, but maybe you <laughs> you experience good. I I ada masalah hari tu. Uh, that's why I say it's not it's not the the application lah. It, ada banyak faktor. Faktornya mungkin kita punya ada internet. Contoh kat faktor kita punya uh, devices juga. Okay, uh, ada yang pakai komputer yang agak lama. Uh, yang dia punya apa tu uh, performance dia dia tak, dia tak dapat nak keep up macam tu lah. Okay, dan uh, that one kita kena anticipate macam student eh, dengan student contohnya uh, dia orang guna smartphone, jadi kalau smartphone tu mungkin uh, ada yang limited kuota dan kita kena faham lah yang tu, that's why kita tak encourage um, satu satu session untuk, um, bukan tak encourage lah, advisable, okay, kita advise kalau boleh satu session tu less than one hour, lepas tu kita masuk lagi refresh lagi uh, another hour ataupun kita combine synchronous and asynchronous dan kita combine dengan uh, activity juga supaya to make up that let's say uh, three, three uh, lecture hours kita masukkan activity maybe half an hour and then uh, discussion uh, half an hour jadinya lecture synchronous one hour asynchronous one hour so kita pelbagaikan supaya uh, student tak kalau synchronous ni dia lagi makan banyak data if I'm not mistaken eh? okay alright uh, so Bank hands on, so like listening to the radio, good experience, ya. Yeah. Uh, dan kalau kita uh, join banyak session juga, uh, webin, uh, especially webinar. Webinar tak, webinar ni kan satu hala je, dia tak banyak sangat hala dia. Macam kita tak nak, tak boleh nak nampak uh, partisipan. Macam mana, eh? partisipan tak boleh nampak partisipan lain. Uh, dia budget limited sikit lah. Tapi um, dalam... Uh, dalam Zoom pun ada juga function webinar kalau nak buat webinar okey tapi rasanya kena bayar kod webinar tu uh, dia bayar lain okey i tak tahu berapa harga uh, and i don't want to explore yet kita belajar satu-satu dan kita masterkan yang small thing kita masterkan satu-satu Okay, uh, ada banyak nak share sebenarnya tapi I think uh, dah pukul empat suku I think uh, untuk sharing session yang tu um, mungkin itu sajalah dulu Okay, dan kalau uh, Kak Yong akan try untuk um, sharekan uh, Zoom uh, step by step guideline I think I dah share hari tu uh, Webex sebab bila uni, uh, Unimas uh, dah subscribe Webex dan setiap uh, pesyarah dapat kita punya own ID terus Kak Yang buatkan step by step guideline sebab I know that um, it's a free thing uh, ala-ala Unimas dah subscribe apa salahnya kita gunakan okay. mungkin uh, different people have different experience okay. um, teruskan menggunakan Webex ya. Yeah. Uh, Unimas dah beli so kita gunakan sepenuhnya tapi kalau um, dah bayar Zoom, nak teruskan guna Zoom uh, silakan juga dan terus juga menyokong uh, Webex atau Webex whatever you call it okay. Unimas juga ada Microsoft Teams, I think PPPA suka guna Microsoft Teams untuk dia punya uh, workshop session or online seminar session and kita guna uh, Skype juga ada uh, sebab kalau Unimas kita guna Internet Explorer ni dengan Microsoft Windows memang dia dah bagi siap-siap Skype okay, Skype for Business so ada banyak platform tapi okay, untuk student kalau boleh jangan banyak sangat platform lah let's say dia orang tahu kalau Dr. Mahani akan guna Webex uh, gunalah Webex, janganlah guna hari ni kita guna Webex, besok kita guna 
uh, Zoom. Tapi kalau sebab lecturer lain pun akan ada uh, akan maybe akan guna platform yang lain-lain juga. Okay, jadi at least uh, Dr. Mani dia dah tahu. Dr. Mani akan guna WeBack. So forever Dr. Mani WeBack. Madam Jane dia akan guna Zoom. Okay, Madam Jane Zoom. Okay, kalau Madam Jane hari ni Zoom, besok go to meeting, besok luck, besok loom. Ah, kesian kat student. Dia pun dah confused kat macam mana kan. Sebab lecturer lain ada uh, yang dia nak gunakan juga so far. I think uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken Terry ya, eh, kita belum ada lagi uh, satu platform yang diwajibkan kita pakai. Rasanya belum ada. Uh, Webex as can as I know Webex boleh record ya. Yeah, Webex boleh record. Yang ni pun boleh record. Uh, Pre-recorded lecture. Pre-recorded lecture kita tak galakkan guna uh, video conferencing. Kita galakkan guna Uh, ada tu Kamtas, Kamtasia ke apa nama, apa nama ni Ivan? Kamtasia ataupun satu lagi yang Kak Yong dah bagi um, step by step guideline tu. Okay, uh, FB Live pun, ah uh, Kamtasia, FB Live pun boleh guna dan satu lagi uh, screen omatic, uh, okay, screen cast omatic, uh, yang tu untuk yang pre-recorded. Sebab uh, if I not mistaken, we back kalau you nak pre-recordkan you punya lecture sebab ini adalah video conferencing. Dia ada, dia tak allow ke apa macam tu lah. Uh. So ada banyak yang boleh pre-recorded dekat dalam uh, KAM punya website. Okay. Dia ada ataupun Kak Yun dah share dekat link hari tu. Uh, if I not mistaken, Mr. Chua Kiman dia dah ada bagi listing. Uh, untuk pre-recorded ke apa ke banyak dia punya apps yang kita boleh explore. Okay, uh, ada lagi soalan ke? Feel free to use all three types of video conferencing like Teams, Webex, Zoom for synchronous mode. Ya, yeah. uh, kita boleh guna. Oh boleh eh? Okay, Teams memang uh, Unimas dah ada. Okay, tapi kalau you tanya I, tanya I. To be honest, uh, I tak berapa suka Teams. Um, as a host lah. As a host, I tak berapa suka Teams. Uh, sebab dia lagi slow dia tak macam, dia macam lagging sikit. Tapi saya tak tahu, itu itu saya punya perasaan. Saya uh, dah try guna tapi uh, tak apalah kita tukar, kita tukarlah pergi webex atau zoom. Uh, itulah perasaan saya. Tapi saya tak tahu, uh, you all kena explore dulu. Sebab perasaan suka tak suka ni kita tak boleh nak paksa kan. Kita kena cuba dulu. Okay. Uh, lagi apa lagi eh yang uh, ada nak tambah ke? Alright. Okay, yes, kena explore. Ah, kena explore. Uh, kalau ada apa-apa untuk FEB, kalau ada apa-apa soalan nak tanya, mana yang Kak Yong boleh, um, boleh tanya Kak Yong, mana yang Kak Yong boleh bantu, Kak Yong insyaAllah Kak Yong akan bantu. Ataupun I think kawan-kawan lain pun uh, macam ujai, uh, expert macam Dr. Rosa Dekan, kita memang host uh, lagi banyak meeting, uh, boleh tanya Dekan kita. Okay. Dan siapa lagi yang biasa host uh, Uh, Ivan, uh, Ivan pun banyak host juga kan. So don't worry, um, we start learning slowly. Insyaallah lepas ni semua orang dah expert dah. Okay, semua orang dah future ready uh, curriculum dah kan. So kita kena by hook or by group. Uh, we have to go online. Okay, uh, kalau tak ada apa-apa lagi, I think I have to end it nampak dua puluh dua dah. Uh, terima kasih. Ujai ada one last word, Jai? Hai, tender je long. Ah, attendance. Lupa. Okay. Uh, nanti lepas I share attendance, uh, siapa yang dah lepas tu boleh, uh, yang dah ambil attendance tu uh, boleh leave the room, leave the session. Siapa yang nak minta Kak Yong isikan uh, secara manual, uh, boleh letak dekat um, dekat chat lah. Uh, dan Kak Yong uh, nak minta, ambil kesempatan ni untuk ucapkan Selamat Hari Raya Mak Azhar uh, dan Um, WHFB juga selamat air raya Mak Azhar Batin dan insyaAllah uh, semoga uh, Ramadan kali ini lebih bermakna daripada kita sebab kita banyak belajar insyaAllah berkat ilmu tu dan jumpa lagi uh, selepas raya dan happy learning, happy teaching, selamat bersungkir. Terima kasih. Kak Yong share sekarang.